Hi, I'm Simon from Crooked Imaging, and uh, today I'm just going to go through uh, the setup procedure uh, to get you started with uh, with the Rise Tello. So in the previous video, uh, we just did an unboxing, showed you what the, uh, the drone came with. So what I'm going to do, get you uh, get you up and running, and show you it uh, flying. So first thing we need to do is just have a look, make sure that all the propellers are fitted correctly. They just they're just a push fit, so just make sure that they're they're all pushed on. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate it with the uh, the prop guards fitted. You can take those off uh, once you get a bit more confident with the drone, um, but I'd recommend, especially flying indoors, leave those on because um, if you bump into a wall or anything, it's just going to bounce off rather than damage a prop um, and potentially damage the motors, etc. So, in the last video, I did state that one thing that you really will need. Is a charging cable uh, because they're not supplied with a charging cable. Um, they use a micro USB cable, which just plugs into the side of the drone. Uh, if you if you use an Android phone, the likelihood is uh, that you may already have one of these cables. Uh, I know a lot of the new Android phones actually now are starting to use USB-C, but this uses a micro USB cable. Uh, so, so to charge the battery. First thing we need to do is actually fit, put the battery into the drone. Um, you can see the contacts on the bottom of the battery. They face downwards, and you just slide the battery, and uh, it clicks into place. There we go. So to charge the battery, simply fit, press the uh, the cable in. And we should see some flashing LED. You'll see a, a, an LED on the front of the drone, just there flashing. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up, but it flashes blue. Um, when it's flashing, that means that it's charging. When it becomes a solid blue light, that indicates that the battery is fully charged. Uh, so that's how we charge the battery. I'd recommend making sure it's fully charged before you first fly it. Uh, it takes about half an hour, 45 minutes uh, to fully charge the battery. Um, but I always recommend doing that. Any battery should be fully charged before you use it to start off with anyway. Uh, and also give you maximum maximum fun time. Next thing you're going to need to do is download the app. Uh, so I use an Apple device. Uh, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. Um, you can either go into the App Store uh, and I found if you search for Tello drone, that will come up with the app. Um, let me just uh, show you on the phone. So there we go. So if we go to the App Store and we type in there Tello drone search, you can see. The app has appeared there. Uh, if you've got an Android device, you'll need to go to the Play Store uh, to download the app. Uh, very similar process to the Apple uh, Apple phone, and then download the app. The other way that you can do it is in the book booklet that comes with the drone, the Quick Start Guide. It actually gives you a QR code, and what you can do is you can scan that in, and that will take you to the Rise website. The Rise website will recognise what uh, what device you have and take you to the app store um, so that's the route that i'm going to take because that's probably the most risk-free getting the right app so if we if i just uh, as you can see i've already been there so right so what we're going to do camera Let's get the adverts there we go it's come up with the URL we'll click on that okay 
can sometimes take a little while. Right, there we go. So it's taken us to uh, to the Apple Store, and there's the app ready for us to download. So let me just download that. It's going to take a little while. Actually, not too long. Um, then we can open the app. So the app itself will come comes up with some instructions. Uh, it's very very good actually. Very very intuitive. It takes you through takes you through step by step how to get up and running with the drone. Uh, it obviously gives you terms and conditions that you have to read through for safe flying, etc. etc. So read all of those. Yeah, then we can accept. Then asks you the, the on the uh, Apple device anyway. It comes up and asks you whether you you want to let the uh, teller access the location while you're using the app. So that will give you GPS feedback uh, on your location. So yes, we'll allow that. Also, it would like to access our photos. Uh, why does it want to do that? So that when you take pictures or record a video, it stores it into your onto your phone. So we'll say yes to that. Right. So drone isn't quite charged, but it's got about enough. that should have about ninety percent. So what we're going to do is the next step is to switch the drone on. So on the side of the drone, power button, and we press that, and you should see some uh, an LED on the front that's just flashing. That's now indicating that it's waiting for us to connect the Tello to the phone. So the, it uses Wi-Fi. So when we connect the Tello, what it does is it asks you, it takes you away, it goes to your settings, and then you need to connect the Tello to your to the Wi-Fi of your phone. So we'll connect the Tello. That's taken us to settings, Wi-Fi, and then the list you should see Tello. So we'll tap on that, and there we go, now it's connected. So then we'll go back to the Tello app, and that should now recognise that it's all connected, which it is. Very, very simple. Uh, it doesn't use any passwords, um, so it makes it very easy. I think I believe you can set up uh, passwords, we can do that in another video. Um, this is just purely to get you started. So then it goes through some instructions on what the buttons do. Uh, as I say, this is this is set up for conventional sticks. So left stick is fly up, down, uh, rotate left, rotate right. On the right stick is set to fly forward, backwards, fly left, fly right. Uh, gives you battery level, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, your actual speed, and your height, all useful information. Uh, you can take off and land using the top left button. Uh, you've got your flight modes, which you can change. We'll do that in another video because there's not enough space in uh, in our showroom to do that. Uh, the settings, so you might want to go in there and change some of the settings with regard to camera quality, etc. Uh, playback, and you can switch the mode of the camera, so you can switch it from video or camera. Uh, as I say, you've got your flight modes. You can set it so you can throw it and go. Again, not enough room in here. We'll, this is a, we'll cover that in another video. You can do flips, up and away. Lots of different modes, uh, which makes this just a, such a cracking little device for doing selfies and stuff like that. So, you should be able to see on my screen now. There we go. There's our showroom. There's me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, camera feed, camera feedback to the uh, to the phone is very 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 good, very clear, very quick. Uh, quite surprised actually that it's uh, that it's almost instant as I'm rotating the drone. It's it's picking that up straight away. So we go into the settings. Uh, you can see you've got your flight speed. We're going to use slow. Let's get used to it first. Uh, you've got VR mode, which we're not going to use. We're not using goggles, and then you go back into the settings. And you've got your Bluetooth joystick settings. I'm going to explore this tonight or later on. Um, I actually have uh, a Bluetooth controller, 
Uh, I'm not sure whether it works with this particular drone or not, but we're also going to be doing the uh, game vice. Uh, we're going to be adding that onto the website tomorrow, uh, and that actually encases your your phone and gives you sticks. Uh, that works very very well. Um, you've got your Wi-Fi settings, so that's where you can go in there and set your password. Uh, you can go to more, and then that's where you can go in there and change it from beginner mode. So we're going to leave it in beginner mode for the time being. Uh, and that's where it takes you through the instructions. You can set the measurements from metric to imperial, photo quality, set that to high, uh, low battery warning. You can change your joystick, so if you prefer to use mode one, as I say I use mode two, but if you prefer to use mode one, that is an option. You can go in there and change your bit rate for your camera. So as you can see, you can go in there and you can calibrate. Go your calibration settings, shows you at your app version etc etc and you can go to the advised tech support as well to go and get help if you need it so very very good app how does it fly let's find out so we're going to push the button top left uh, for takeoff then asks you whether to uh, slide to take off make sure everything is safe we're quite enclosed here so it'd be interesting to see how uh, how the drone copes so if we uh, slide There you have it. Let me bring that down a little bit so you can see it. Now this is not using GPS or anything, this is literally using cameras underneath to know its position. And as you can see, that is hovering very, very stable. We're indoors, we're in enclosed space. My left. Bring it back. Very, very, very impressive. I'll take a picture with it as well. So I can record in video. Now I'm hovering over glass, so that's that makes it even more impressive that it can actually hover and be that steady. So I'm recording a video at the moment. Change the camera. Rotate it around. Pick it up a little bit. Take a picture. Up. There we go. And actually, the controls on the phones feel very uh, quite responsive. I've had drones in the past that you fly with the phone, and I've not been that impressed, but uh, that works very, very well. Let's land it. Then there you have it. The Rise Tello. Very, very impressive. Especially for its size as well. Uh, very, very, very stable. Uh, should have a lot of fun with that. Especially with some of the fly modes. It's got uh, it's got its flip mode on there as well. Again, as I say, not quite enough room in here. I'd like to get it, uh, it outside uh, to, uh, to try some of those modes, which we'll do in a, a later video. So there you have it. Available from us at www.crookedimaging.co.uk. Don't forget to smash that uh, subscribe button on our, uh, on our YouTube page. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more videos, um, the uh, DJI drones, the, the Tello, Spark, uh, and all the accessories as well to go with it. So, uh, yeah, definitely come over and uh, take a look. And don't forget to share it as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.